Ugly inside TV, outside St. Mary TV, Southampton 1, Crystal Palace 2, a lot of unhappy fans, a lot of boos ringing around at full time this afternoon. Do you know something, after Man United, I really thought we'd get something tonight. I really thought there was going to be something. We were 1-0 up and I'm thinking Shane Long scores the first goal for almost a year. Mm. And suddenly we're 1-0 up and we just sit back. Mm. We just gave up. And it's like, oh, we'll take 1-0, we'll, we'll have another 1-0 win, or we'll try and get a 1-0 win. And then somebody just said behind me, suddenly the passion, where did that passion, where did that desire that we all watched at Man United, it just disappeared. And I'm sorry, the guy behind, before me, I remember the Brantford days as well. I was here. And it is worse. And it is. And we are now one place and two points mm. above the drop zone. Mm. And if people cannot see it, we we will be playing Ipswich Town. And that's two points between us <coughs> and bottom. And the bottom. Yeah, it's not like two points. But be, you know, we could. You know, we are two points off West Brom, who are bottom of the league. Mm. And Fulham on Saturday. Well, actually, yeah, I I don't want a cup run because I don't think we can have we can afford a cup run. So how the hell um. Where is the next win coming from? And there's no pride, there's no passion, there's no desire. It's like they I mean, were content. We're, here, we're wet. Mm. I am absolutely soaking wet. And for what? I mean, I might as well have sat in the pub and had a few beers. And, you know, there's nothing. There is absolutely nothing. It's like Pellegrino was content at sitting at 1-0. And yeah. let's talk about, I mean, the substitutions for me. I was baffled why he brought off Ward-Prowse for me. He had an excellent game. Now, Hoiberg had an excellent game. Two, two of the best players on the pitch and they bring him off and they, and they take the lead. And why was Tadic still on the pitch? Buffal as well. And Buffal. Yeah. I mean, Buffal, I think, had one shot on target in the 93rd minute. Well, yeah. right at 93rd minute, and it went straight. But he had one shot. That is our supposedly wonder Moroccan Messi, I heard somebody call him once. He, sorry, Moroccan camel shit, as far as I'm concerned. I'm sorry. That I'm, and I hate being horrible, but come on. Let's get honest here. We are in a scrap. But as, again, the guy before me said, we haven't got the tis this time to bail us out of it. How can Pellegrino motivate the squad then if we're, if we're amongst it? I don't think he can. I honestly, genuinely do not think Pellegrino has got a clip. I mean, we need... You, this is a game, right? Let, let's be fair here. Let's be honest. This is a game we had to win, right? Now, I don't, I'm no football mastermind. I'm no genius. But you go two guys up front, mm. right? We need goals. Charlie can't play because he's injured or he's suspended or whatever the hell he is. So you start the game with Gabby Adini and Shane Long. Start two up front. What does he do? You put Shane Long, who ran his socks off against Man United, and you stick him up, his, up front again, all on his own. And eventually you suddenly think, oh shit, we need goals. Mm. Let's play some strikers. It's too bloody late. It's too late. Do you think we see some more rotation again yeah, at, at the weekend will. for the FA Cup? Yeah, we probably will. You'll probably see God knows who, but I don't really... I actually don't care about Fulham. I actually do not care about Fulham because mm. the last thing... I'm, I mean, I don't know about the guys still around me, but I'm actually old enough to remember when Brighton made a cup final, lost to Man United, and guess what? Got relegated. Let's go. bring it a bit for, yeah, further Wigan. forward. Wigan... Mm. Won the FA Cup, got relegated. I'll even go back a bit. Middlesbrough, you know, FA Cup final, got relegated. Yeah? No, the Premier League is your bread and butter. Because I'll tell you something, we get relegated, half of that team is going to walk. I'll tell you now, we go down, Bertrand will go, Tadic will go, Foster will go, Cedric will go. So you will go into the championship. Romeo will go. The skeleton squad. Yeah, you will go into the championship next season mm. with the under 22s, under 23s. Mm. You will go in with a bunch of kids that nobody's ever heard of. Mm. I've been here before. I've seen it happen. And I didn't think I would see it again. Mm. But under this manager, it's happening again. Mm. We are going the same way. Um, this 70 whatever million it is, I do not want Pellegrino anywhere near that money because I honestly think he will do. Do people remember when Tottenham sold? Bale. Yeah. 
bail yeah. and blew it on a load of nobodies mm. and that's exactly what we will do with that money it will get blown on a bunch of nobodies that nobody's ever heard of and but i honestly seriously at this precise moment in time i can see me next season going away to watch preston north end yeah. and ipswich ta and ipswich town and millwall and guess what we might even get a real local derby because Pompey might come back up. Yeah?